This is the concluding part of the Dutch Tronics scope clock build. Today we're going to uh, finish off the Today we're going to build the uh, digital to analog converter. We're going to put the pins in to allow us to see the results on the scope. We're going to hook it up um, and see what we can see out of it. Then we're going to move on to the, the rest, the sundries, the, um, the USB interface and the TTL interface. And that should wrap it up fairly quickly. Just trying to get the uh, digital to analog converter out of the packaging and it seems that it's had a rough journey. So we'll have to spend some time putting that back together. Oh, look at that leg there, bent all the way back up. Poor little chip. So after installing the digital to analog converter and firing it up, this is just on a normal time base, so it's not XY mode yet. Um, I need to make up some more leads so that I can do XY mode. But there we go, we can see there's definitely something happening there. It looks like this here is the clock face and looks like these are the digits around the edge and it looks like these are the pointers. So all very good, yeah, perfect. So there we go, after a bit of fiddling around with um, the, ver the settings for the X and Y axis, swapping the leads around and um, playing with the configuration options a little bit, we now have a working dial. I've changed it to Roman numeral numerals and I've taken off the name and I've changed various settings. Also I've changed the settings for the green LED so now it says the time in Morse or something. So it looks like we're working. Now I'll finish off the rest of the um, installation of components and more or less I'll throw these on all in one go. Now that we're working, we're working. So the rest of the build went very very quickly, um, maybe just half an hour. It was very simple, it was just adding on a few extra connectors over here. The RS-232, the RS-232 driver chip, and five capacitors and a couple of resistors. So very, very quick. Now you can see the LEDs flashing sort of in Morse code. That's the setting. And there we go. The clock's running just fine. The time's not right yet, but we'll play about with that some more. In the next episode. So the next episode is um, the review of what the scope clock can do.